Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Zach Greinke. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Leading Here's the left fielder, Cincinnati. number 23. The left fielder, number 23. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. Got it by him for the K. So digging in, Ellie De La Cruz. One down, base is empty. There's the swing and a miss. Not close with that one. Two and two. Bounce to the right. On the run. Throw to first. Two up, two down. Batting third. The designated hitter. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Thing, you know Zach Greinke a guy that even while he's been playing he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video well in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player and he pointed at the screen Greinke did. and there's the third out that'll do it for the inning and one two three go the Reds the Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Kansas City and on the hill, the big righty, Hunter Green. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Leading Hitters, the they Warriors. have a hard time staying back. Third Bottom base. of the first Mike at Brad. the play. Number 11. The, uh... That one the other way. Senzel whips it to first. And a quick out number one. Batting second. The shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands and the pitch. And now it's filled up. Line drive, base hit. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that that's a great hard. example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. To third might be two. There's one. And that's two. Nothing doing for the Royals in the first. After an inning from KC, no score on the show.
Back here at Kauffman Stadium, all set for the start of the, the inning. Now it's the rookie first, first baseman, three. number 33. Encarnacion Strand. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. In now for the Reds, Noel V. Marte. Ball to strike, the pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here one and two now checks the swing now it appeal to first and he went around rule the swing that is it. and now here's a speed threat outfielder will Benson here comes the pitch there goes the runner from first the one one is fouled off The one two got him two out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch that, 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 after giving up the, the leadoff single base. back to back strikeouts. So Senzel. they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now it's nope. Nick Senzel pitch misses now two balls and a strike. Just missed. Stuart Fairchild waits on deck. The pitch. That one laced to center and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Digging in, Stuart Fairchild one ball. swings through that one for strike two. First and second, two down. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Two on, two outs. That misses the zone, and the count is even, two and two. Can't connect on the curve ball, struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, MJ Melendez. The right fielder, MJ Melendez. The wind of the pitch. That's ball three. Three balls, one strike. And there's ball four. Ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now the left fielder, Edward Olivares. Hunter Green, a lot of people are excited about this guy. The second overall pick in 2017 made his debut in 2022. 
What a fastball he has. Yeah, it's amazing. Even if he's not pitching for a winning team, just stopping and seeing what he's doing is unreal. Fastball velocity effortless. It's triple digits regularly. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle fighting the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Next to hit, Michael Massey. Yeah, he set a record in his second career outing when he threw 39 pitches, 100 miles an hour or more in a single game. And that surpassed Jacob DeGrom's record of 33. Then it's even up. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks his swing. Now would appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Two on, one out. And here's the rookie center fielder, Dyrone Blanco. The 1 1. And a swing to miss. The 1 2. High fly ball down the left field line. Number five on a dead sprint, racing back, looking up, turning and looking, and it's gone. A three run rocket, and they lead it. It's 3 0. Sure, there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Here's Nick Prado. Yeah, now two oh, balls and a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. That one in for a strike, two and two. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Two-two down. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. Back-to-back -back base hits. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Runner on at first with one gone. Matt Duffy steps in for the Royals. This one high in the air to left center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Now he obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap. But I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. And here is number 11. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. And he deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. So two down now, and here is Bobby Witt Jr., 
Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Two balls, two strikes to Cal with two outs. Prado on third. Duffy at first. Two out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Royals grab three on this homer. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back. Here's Luke Maley. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Popped up left side. Witt settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Now bad number, number 23. 23. Number 23, the next to hit for the Reds. Let off the game with a strikeout. Left-hand batter waits. Good eye right there. That misses. Three and two now. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Duffy. To first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in is the speedy Ellie De La Cruz. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Two outs. Well, that's off the plate. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. And a good eye there. In the air, out towards right center. Melendez drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Reds go down quietly. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Bottom of the inning, and to the play for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. In for a strike, and it's one and two. Well, these Royals do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Oh. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good late bite on that slider. The Got the hitter out front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And next will be the cleanup hitter, MJ Melendez. The walk and a run scored his first time. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Really tight bite on that slider. Just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Here's the Royals' designated hitter, Michael Massey. The pitch. Olivares off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So one left for Kansas City, but they lead it 3-0. Back here in Kansas City, out of the fourth, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Joey Votto. Two one now. Up the middle, Witt. 
Sends it to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Oh, but we talk about how no, no, the ball no. is coming out of the a pitcher's loser. hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Number 33, the next to hit for the Reds. One for one with a single so far. And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. That one out to right. Melendez running hard to get it. What a play in right field. Two down. The third base is number 16. Two outs, Noel base is empty. Noel V. Marte, the next to hit for the Reds. He's 0 for 1. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. In the dirt, and the count's even at 2. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Next one misses. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Wind in the pitch. Chopped out in front of the plate. Tosses to first, and that'll do it. Nobody left for Cincinnati. Still down 3 0. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth. So up now for Kansas City, Dyrone Blanco. And a pitch. Ball Just pass. missed. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Derek Law loosening up for manager David Bell. Cruz getting cranked up as well. The wind of the pitch. And now it's even up. And another ball. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. That can be a really tough pitch to handle, a front door breaking ball, but he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spin off the ball and hook it foul, which happened so many times. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's the first baseman, Nick Prado. And he's already singled in this game. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. And that's downstairs and outside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And the right hander deals. Strike three on the foul tip. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change no, up no, no, and 15. still late on it. You Second rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Pitcher for the Reds, Derek Law. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. And now it's Matt Duffy.
Blanco leads off first with one away. Run around the goal. Pitch is high. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Righty delivers. That's in there. Law checks the runner, and he's back in easily. Pickoff throw, and he dives back in safely. Runner at second here, one gone. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball now the other now way, now. but that time, a little right anxious. There. So the Royals' batting order turns over, and now here is number 11. Three one is on the way. Ripped into right center, base hit. Blanco around third. He will score, and it's 4 nothing. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Man at second here with two away. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. One for two. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Royals four and the Reds nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. Number 30, Will Benson. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third, and he went around. That's ruled the swing. Right-hander kicks deals. Line drive to short and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Senzel. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. The why to kick the pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. Stays alive. That one inside. Two balls, two strikes. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. The next offering misses. Counts full three and two. And he walked him. Up next in Cincinnati. Now it's going to be Stuart Fairchild. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Granky picks over. Senzel back on a dive.
in the air right field Melendez drifts towards it hauls it in and there's two away now back catch it Luke Maley. and now the catcher comes up to him Luke Maley Senzel the runner at first with two gone The next nope. pitch misses, and now three and one. Activity in the bullpen. Number 69, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Number 40, the right-hander, also getting loose. Kicks and fires. That clips a corner. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Over to first, and he's safe. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Well, these Royals putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. The two two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. The punch out there. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The right fielder. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. A strikeout and a walk. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Hammer down the right side, but foul. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. Oh. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. The bat, bat. No left oh, field. Edward. And next up for the Royals, Edward Olivares. Late with the swing there. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. KC down in order, but they're in front 4 nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the left fielder, number 23. Falling behind two and one. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Feels like almost every at bat has gone full. They've worked a full count six different times, and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now. That's in there. That's strike two. And a 3-2. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Blanco makes the grab on the run. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. 
Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Bounce to third. Has some trouble with it. And he beats He's it. Good. He's safe. Now bad. The designated hitter. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Zach Greinke will give way, and he exits with a nice lead. Threw the ball well, and we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. So the Royals bring on a new arm, number 69. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And next is the designated hitter, Joey Votto. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Oh, great stop. The throw went over to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Royals four and the Reds nothing. Fernando Cruz on the pitch here. Now pitching for the Reds. Number 63, Fernando. Now it's the DH, Michael Massey. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And the righty deals. Fouled off to the right. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. He's got it, and there's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. Now, that is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. And to the play for Kansas City, Nick Prado. Three, two down. And that's ball, ball four. four. Perfect. It's not easy laying off that pitch. It's designed to fool you, but he just wasn't second fooled at all. Man. Here's Matt. the second baseman, Matt Duffy. Duffy. Prado off of first with two away. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the inning. Royals leave one, but they lead it four to nothing. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, number 33. The 1-1. One -one. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. The third base is number 16. Noel V. Marte. Noel V. Marte. The next to hit for the Reds. And one and two. Double barrel action in the bullpen. Jackson Kowa, the young right hander, up and throwing. Davidson, a left hander, also throwing. And now it's one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again.
Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. And here it comes. Ground ball right side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And a one two. Way high. Two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Reds down in order. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Back here in Kansas City, set for the last half of the seventh. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, number 11. And the pitch. Grounder off the pitcher. Safe at first, and now we'll check on the right-hander. Hope he's all right. That comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, Boo. So, man aboard. So, up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Look out for the double play. Next one Another off the plate two. inside. And it's a full count. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Move to first. Back in there standing. And ball no, four to a board. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And now, Salvador Perez. First and second here, no outs. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Salvador Perez leaves the yard, and they add on. It's 7-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed, Boog. Just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Lucas Sims comes on now. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now it's the right fielder, M.J. Melendez. And a swing and a miss, and now one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. At the belt and fires. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Buck Farmer appears to be getting loose. Mole getting loose as well.
Riding to the plate. And a strike. Comes a 2 2. And delivers outside. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's his second strikeout. Now bad. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Royals designated hitter, Michael Massey. Three two. Out towards left center. Fairchild brings it in with a nice running grab. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 7-0. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. Two two on the way, and yeah, that's outside. Okay. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And now the center fielder, Stuart Fairchild. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Next offering is down low. Kicks and deals. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Fires to first. Two up, two down here in the top now of the eighth. Catch, catch. Move. 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 Two outs, space is empty. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. Pitch. Got him looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. And one, two, three go the Reds. Not going their way. It's seven nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in, Dyrone Blanco. The center Blanco. Here's a 1-1. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. That clips the inside corner for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. 2-2 Two -two now. And that one is inside. to the mound throws to first one gone to the bottom of the eighth now bad the first base Nick. Nick Prado steps in for the Royals the one one popped up De La Cruz under this one he's got it and there's two away Now, yeah, Matt, Matt. Second, second baseman, baseman. Matt. Matt. And Duffy. next up for the Royals, Matt Duffy. 
one for three. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. The one, two. Good oh. eye right there. It's a good take. Two two it's softly on the ground, left side, oh. and it goes just foul. Right-handed reliever. I can't lose, Bull. Now a pop-up on the infield. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Royals bats are quiet there, but they're still in control. It's 7-0. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Tucker Davidson. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So the batting order turns over, and here is number 23. Number 23. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And there's a strike on the outside corner. One ball, two strikes. That's and now two and two. And a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And now two and one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Jackson Kowar up and loosening in the pen. And now the lefty. Strike two. And that's a little high. Payoff pitch. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. Got it by him for the K. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first now two battle. batters he's faced in this one. Getting it. straight Here to work. Lead. Man, it's talked Ball. about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. 1-1 one, one now. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Is just one strike away. Well, that turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. We saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.